Today's video for working with Hello Theme and Elementor, we're going to take a look at how we can create a sticky, transparent header. So as you can see at the top of the screen at the moment, we've got our logo on the left hand side, our navigation on the right. If we scroll down, we now get a semi-transparent background to make sure that we can still see our navigation no matter where we are on the page. So I'm going to take you through step by step how to do exactly this. So I've jumped over to the dashboard and we're ready now to start creating the template for our header. Now one thing worth noting at this point is you do need to have Elementor Pro. You can't do this with the free version because the things that we need are simply not available. So with Elementor Pro installed and everything set up, what we need to do now is head over to the template section and come down to the theme builder option. Once we're in there, we can now start creating the templates. So let's click on add new template. Now we can choose what type of template we want to work with. Because we're dealing with the sticky header, we just choose header from the options. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this default header and then we'll click create our template. Once we've done that, that will now load Elementor in and take us through to the blocks library. And from here, we could choose any of the predefined and pre-designed headers if we wanted to, or we can choose from the page templates, or we can jump over to our templates. We're gonna choose none of those. We're simply gonna start with a fresh, clean slate. So I'm gonna close this down, and we've now got our blank page ready. So you can ignore anything that comes underneath. This is just some basic placeholder information when we're working with Elementor and we're creating a header, all of that will just be basically ignored. So don't worry about that. What you'll also see on the left hand side now, because we've chosen the header, are six different widgets of various different elements we can use inside the header section. Things like our site logo, title, page title, and so on. So what we're gonna do first of all is create our very first blocks. So we're gonna say we want this to be 50-50 to start off with. So we're gonna have the logo on the left hand side and our main navigation on the right hand side. But obviously you can build this in any way that you like. What I'm gonna do is just simply drag this over to get to roughly 30% and 70%. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over and we're gonna choose the site logo and drop that in there. Now I've already set my logo inside the hello theme. So that's gonna pull that in using that widget. Now at the moment we can't see anything because the background is white and so is our logo. So let's just put in the second widget that we want. So we're going to come back over and we're going to say we want the nav menu and we'll drag and drop that over on the right hand side. Next up, we're going to choose this particular row and we're going to come into the style option. We're going to come down to the background type and we're going to set this to be a particular color. So we're going to go for a semi-transparent black to start off with. Okay, so we set our background color. You can now see the logo. We can't really see our navigation because the color on there, but we'll change that in a moment. Now changing anything inside this header is very easy. All we're going to do is come over to our navigation, click on that, come to the style tab, and this allows us now to style various different elements for our navigation. So we're going to set the text color to be white, and you'll see now we can immediately start to see everything on there. We can also do things like change the hover effect, the active, the typography that's being used, all those kinds of normal things you'd expect to see, including things like the drop down and toggle button. So we're not going to worry too much about styling that. We're more a case of showing you how to create the sticky header. You should be used to now dealing with all the styling options when it comes to working with Elementor anyway. So come back over to our content and what we can do is we can adjust the alignment now for our navigation. So we're going to click and choose that to go to the right hand side. So everything looks nice and neat and tidy. We can also go do things like the mobile drop down, the different sort of sizes. We're going to have a break points and all those kinds of things to make sure that everything looks great on no matter what device we're working with. So you have all those controls there available to you inside this particular widget. Okay, so we're nearly there now. We've nearly finished creating our header. We just need a couple of little styling things to make sure everything sits and looks nice and neat. We're going to choose the entire row. We're going to come over to the layout and what we're going to do is we're going to say we want the content position to be in the middle. That will then make sure that all of our content is nice and neatly vertically aligned. So everything is in place now for the basics of our header. So let's click on publish and we'll say add condition. Entire site is perfectly fine because you want this header to be available on the entire site. So we we'll say save and close and we've now created our header. So let's just jump back onto our test page and take a look at what it looks like at this stage. So on our test page, you can see we've got that semi-transparent gray background. Everything is lined up in position, but we've got a couple of little things we don't have yet. First of all, this background is not sitting underneath the actual navigation itself, the entire header, and it's also not sticky. So let's deal with those two options now. Come back over into our dashboard. The first thing we're gonna do is select this row again to make sure it's active, hop over to the advanced tab, and once we're in there, we're gonna come down to motion effects. You can see we've got sticky as an option, and it's currently set to none. So if we click on there, we've got top and bottom. Because this is the header, we obviously want to stick it to the top. So we'll say top, 
that's now sticking this we can go through and choose which types of devices we want this to be available on so if we don't want this to appear on tablets and mobiles we can disable those by simply xing out and removing those options you can also go through and set the offset in other words how far on the page before this effect will take effect we're going to leave it as it is for now just to keep it nice and simple but they are there if you want to make fine tunes and tweaks to everything you're doing so now we've got the sticky option in place so let's just quickly update the page then we'll jump back over to our test site and we'll refresh that and as you can see if we scroll up and down now our header is exactly in place and stays sticky so the next thing we need to do is just deal with the fact that it's too far at the page and our actual page content is not sitting underneath it and making the best of that transparent effect so let's just jump back into our dashboard and once we're in there jump over to the advanced tab and what we need to do now is put a negative margin for this particular section so what we need to do is select the row make sure that's active and then under the margin options we'll uncheck this to link them together and we'll set the top to be minus 95 now the weird thing with elementor is you can't actually type in a minus without any other digit there so you put the 95 in and we'll just simply go back and put the minus in that then should take all the content and push it up allowing a nice new transparent header to work the way we want so again let's hit update to make sure we commit those changes we'll jump over to our test page and we'll refresh and you can see now we've now got our header section at the top sticking and being semi-transparent so that's pretty cool but what if we want this to be fully transparent and then when we scroll down the page then it becomes semi-opaque like we can see at the moment well out of the box we can't do that with elementor pro we can use a free plugin or if you wanted to you get your hands dirty and start styling this through css i'm going to keep it easy for the beginners out there we're going to use a simple free plugin that gives us a little bit more control over how these sticky headers work and what we can do with them so let's go ahead install and activate that plugin and see how we can start to edit and control the way these top navigation blocks are working so i'm going to come back over to my dashboard jump out of this page exit to the dashboard and we're going to come down to our plugin section now i've already gone ahead and installed this but i haven't actually activated it so what we're going to use is a plugin called sticky header effects for elementor like i say this is completely free so you can grab this install it and follow along so let's click on activate and once we've done that we can just simply jump back into our templates so we're going to come into our templates into our theme builder go back to our header and edit with elementor and once we're in there we're going to select our header block from the left hand side then we're going to come down to advanced and you see we've now got a new option in here called sticky header effects at the moment it's disabled and once we enable it you can see it tells us make sure that you enable the sticky header effect inside elemental pro for this to work properly now we've already done that at the beginning but if you haven't all you need to do is come to motion effects and where it says sticky and it says none to start off with just set that to be top when you're working with the header okay so let's jump back into the sticky header effects so you can see what we've got is a range of different options including where they enable them so in other words again we've got that option for desktop tablet and mobile so we can configure exactly what effects are going to be used we've then got the scroll distance in other words how far down the page before it enables the actual sticky header so we'll leave that set at 60 but you can fine tune that if you want to we've then got the option for transparent header so the initial header is it transparent well again you can enable this disable it whatever you want we can also set a header background color so let's do that let's get rid of what we currently have here let's come back over to edit things underneath the style option and we're going to set the background color and we're going to remove that completely so it's completely transparent come back in then to advanced back down to our sticky header what we're going to do is we say transparent header is on and then we say the header background we're going to say we want this to be that color we set which was a sort of semi-transparent black let's go ahead and update our page so we can commit those changes then we'll jump back onto our test page and reload this to see exactly what's happening so there we go there's our completely transparent background for the header at the top where it overlays the actual graphic and so once we start to scroll down you can see it nicely fades in that semi-transparent background so as you scroll over our page we can still see our navigation and our content behind it so everything is in place the way you'd expect it to be and working now once we're back to the top of the page you can see that semi-transparent background now disappears and we've gone back to the completely transparent background so it works exactly as you'd expect it to a very easy way of making not only a sticky navigation but also a transparent and semi-transparent navigation as you move down the page now on top of what we've already seen there are still a couple more options we have available so if we scroll down you can see we've got things like a border for the bottom so if you want to create a little bit more separation you could apply a border if you wanted to so what we need to do is just choose that choose the color you want and the width we'll hit update 
The nice thing with this is you've got the option for setting this based upon the actual device being viewed upon. So if you enable this on desktops, tablets, and mobiles, you can set a different width on each one of those to make sure it fits in the design that you want. So let's just jump back over. We'll refresh this now to take a look. As you can see, no line is evident until we start to scroll down and then we get our semi-opaque background and we now get our red line across there. So it's very easy to deal with. Come back in. We've also got the option to have the header shrink. So if we enable this, you can see we can choose exactly what size we want that to be after scrolling. Now, currently I've set this to 50 and we can, if we want to, go through set different values for each of the different devices. You can also control the actual logo if that shrinks down as well. So we can easily come in here and say we want this to be, say, 35, and then we'll just click on update. So now we've committed those changes. Let's just jump back over and take a look. Refresh. And as you can see, everything's looking the same as before. And once we scroll down, we now get a smaller heading and smaller logo. So it's very easy to work with and does exactly what you'd expect it to. And there we go. That's how easy it is to create these sticky headers for Elementor Pro and the Hello theme. If you enjoyed the video and you're looking to get more of the Hello theme work with Elementor, then check out these videos you can see on screen right now. They're going to get you up to speed in double quick time. As always, all the applicable links for this and everything covered on the channel are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.